Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time at the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. We are back at Academy of Sports. Back in January, I went inside and looked at ammo prices. We're gonna follow that back up with this video, looking at ammo prices once again to see what the change is. And I'm going to dump that into a spreadsheet down in the pinned comment so you guys can check that out. You'll click that link. I'll have to authorize you to uh, access it if you wanna see what the price differences is. But to be frankly honest with you, I, I, I've already went in and recorded everything and I didn't really see too many or too much differences. Now, some of the things that you have to take in consideration right now is ammo prices are fluctuating a little bit because contracts have already been set up and are being fulfilled. Those contracts are starting to go away, so we're starting to see a little bit of an increase, yet some stores have prices that are still kind of low. In addition to that, we're also seeing um, component parts for ammunition, such as powder and primer and stuff like that. That material cost is going up quite considerably. So I would say this next half of the year, we're going to see an incredible increase in uh, prices or not, who knows? We're gonna to have to wait and see. It's also an election year. You can see what's going on with that. And we have some things going on overseas as well. So with all of that being said, we're gonna see some fluctuation in prices, some good, some bad, but at the end of the day, that's the life that we live in. My recommendation is if you don't like the prices here in these big box stores, either A, support your local company, or B, buy online. Uh, websites like uh, ammoseek.com, you can get in on that and find free shipping with a lot of that type of ammunition. So definitely check that out. I just bought a thousand rounds of nine millimeter for like 23 cents a round or something like that. And it was free shipping. So there you go. Let's go inside and check things out. All right, walking through the store here to get to the ammunition shelves. And let me tell you, the shelves were actually pretty well stocked. We're going to have a lot more nine millimeter um, personal defense rounds. We'll get into that here in just a second, but we're gonna start with 22 long rifle with the 40 grain Norma attack 22 at 12 cents a round, 40 grain CCI standard velocity at 10 cents a round, 32 grain CCI stinger varmint at 20 cents a round, uh, which is pretty nice there. Uh, it's uh, kind of a boutique round, I guess, if you want to say it. <laughs> but from there, we're going to move on to 40 grain Remington Golden Bullet high velocity at 10 cents a round, 36 grain CCI Mini Mag Varmint at 10 cents a round, 40 grain CCI Mini Mag at 12 cents a round. And then way there on the right, we have the 40 grain Monarch Brass case at 8 cents a round. From there, uh, we're going to look at some uh, Agula uh, ammunition. They've got their 20 grain subs at 16 cents a round, their 38 grain high velocity at 12 cents a round, their 40 grain standard velocity at 10 cents a round, and their super extra at 10 cents a round as well, and then their 38 grain super extra at 12.5 cents a round in that larger box there. So I'm um, not sure the difference on that, but Let's get into our bigger boxes. We got the 40 grain Federal Auto Match 325 round box at 8.6 cents a round. And then a Winchester Super X at 12 cents a round. That's uh, a 222 round box there. And then over there on the left, you got this new bucket from Federal. Uh, this is their Federal Champion uh, BYOB. 36 grain coppered, cop, copper <laughs> copper plated hollow point, if I could even say it, oh my goodness, at 7.3 cents a round. Then you got the Winchester Wildcat, it's a 40 grain projectile at 9 cents a round. 36 grain Federal Champion, 525 round box at 7.8 cents a round. Winchester Western, coming up here in just a second, is going to be a 36 grain bullet at 8.2 cents per round. You also got the 36 grain Remington Golden Bullet High Velocity, 525 round box at 7.6 cents a round and 40 grain Federal Champion, 800 round box. Coming up here in just a second, that's going to be 8.1 cents per round. Um, and 
I would say that these prices are fairly consistent. We really haven't seen anything move on 22 long rifle since I've started doing this at the beginning of the year. So there is that. But we're going to move on to 9mm and there is a lot of personal defense rounds. So let's get into it. You have the 124 grain or 135 grain flex lock critical duty from Hornady at $1.28. Hornady 147 grain XTP subs at $1.08. And then Winchester 124 grain plus P Defender at $1.55. Winchester 115 grain or 147 grain silver tip at $1.10. And then finally the uh, Hornady 147 grain HST at $1.75 to finish that shelf. Moving on down we have the Hornady 115 grain FTX Critical Defense at $1.24. Hornady 115 grain XTP Black at a dollar around. We have Remington 124 grain bonded jacketed hollow point golden saber a dollar fifty, and then Winchester 147 grain defense at seventy cents around. That's actually a really good deal. Hornady 124 grain XTP custom at a dollar twenty, and then Hornady 147 grain XTP custom at a dollar around. I don't know why that one's cheaper. But uh, moving on from there, let's get into the full metal jackets. Looking at uh, Winchester 124 grain NATO full metal jackets at 39 cents around on that 150 count box. And then the same ammunition only in a 50 round box is 44 cents around. And then you got the Federal 124 grain FMJs at 44 cents a round as well. Remington 147 FMJs at 44 cents a round, followed by the Browning 300 round box of 124 grain FMJs at 37 cents a round. Blazer Brass coming in at 26, around, 26 cents a round on a special for that 115 grain FMJs. And then you got the Monarch 250 round case of 115 grain FMJs at 24 cents a round. Actually, pretty good deal if you like that type of ammunition. Next up, we're going to be looking at the Winchester 115 grain FMJs. It's going to be a 150 count box at 37 cents a round. And then you got the Agula 115 grain FMJs coming in at 35 cents a round for the 300 round box. And then the 50 round box is going to be 38 cents a round for the same ammunition, so go figure that one out. From there, we're gonna be looking at 38 Special. You got the Hornady 110 grain FTX Critical Defense at 124. Winchester 130 grain FMJs at 65 cents a round for the 100 crown box or 64 cents a round for the 50 round box. Monarch 115 gray FMJs at 54 cents a round and then Hornady 125 XTP Black at 92 cents a round. From there, we're going to move on to the 357 Magnum, looking at Hornady 125 grain FTX Critical Defense. That's also going to be 124 um, around. And then uh, you got the 125 grain XTP Black at 92 cents around, Federal 154 grain HST at 165, and then the 125 grain FMJs from Remington at a dollar around. So there is that. Moving on, we're going to look at 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, I've been holding off on... No, nope, we're not going to do that either. <laughs> we're going to look at one... <laughs> we're going to look at the 45 AARP with the Hornady 185 F FTX Critical Defense at 124, the 85 grain XTP Black at 92, Winchester 230 grain Defense coming up here in just a second, is going to be um, $1.10 around, round. And then SIG has their 185 grain jacketed hollow point V crowns. Those are coming in at $1.20 per round. From there, we're going to move on to some FMJs. So be ready for this. Blazer has got their 50 round boxes coming in at $0.54 cents a round. Winchester is going to have a special running on their 100 round boxes. Those FMJs are going to be 53 cents a round. So uh, that's actually pretty decent, I guess, for now. Then you also have the Federal um, 200 round boxes at 57 cents a round. And then moving back to Remington UMCs, uh, those are 60 cents a round. And then the Remington 
50 count box are on special, I guess, for 54 cents a round. So a little bit more expensive than the 100 round box, but um, there is that. Um, I would say that uh, 45 ACP is actually doing okay, um, but there's, you know, it is what it is. Remington uh, UMCs are also looking at uh, 64 cents a round. Monarch, 54 cents a round. And then that Agula is going to be at 64 cents a round as well. Moving on from there, we've got the best millimeter. And that, of course, is going to be 10 millimeter. And this is the only box that they had on the shelves, the only type that they had on the shelves. This is going to be the SIG 180 grain. FMJs, those are coming in at 90 cents a round. A little rich for my blood, but from there we're going to move into rifle calibers, starting off with 223556 and the Hornady 60 grain interlock American Whitetail at $1.25. The Hornady 75 grain boat tail hollow point black at a dollar around. Uh, I bought three boxes of that uh, that day when I was in there because uh, I really do like that. And then they've got this 62 grain FMJ black for 85 cents. Moving on from there, you have the Monarch 55 grain 556 at 52 cents a round. And then in those brown boxes over there, that's actually Lake City 55 grain 223 at 50 cents a round, which was on a quote unquote deal. So um, yeah, it's still, still high, but it is what it is. You got the uh, Browning 55 grain 223 at 63 cents a round. And then you're going to see uh, Remington 55 grain UMC at 68 cents a round. That, that is, that's way too high for that type of ammunition. I don't care what you say. That's just uh, how I feel about it. But moving on from there, we're going to be looking at Winchester stuff. Uh, first and foremost, their white box 55 grain 223 at 60 cents a round. They also had the M193 at 60 cents a round for those 200 round boxes. And then moving on from there, they're going to have 20 round boxes of M855 at 60 round, or 60 cents per round. And then the 20 round box of M193 is 65 cents a round. So that makes no sense, but <laughs> it is what it is. From there, we're going to look at uh, 300 blackouts, starting off with American Eagle, 150 grain full metal jackets at $1.25. And you got the Hornady 110 grain VMAX black at $1.50. Remington 150 grain FMJs are going to come in at $1.50. And then they have the Remington 220 grain open tip flat bottom at $1.50. Uh, I've actually used those, they're pretty, pretty good. Winchester 147 grain FMJs at $1.25. And then moving on from there, you're going to have the Winchester 150 grain Deer Season XP at $1.75 around. And finally, Barnes 120 grain jacketed hollow point flat bottoms at $1.25. Moving on from there, we want to look at uh, 3030. And we've got the Winchester 175 grain Sub X at $1.75 and Hornady 160 grain FTX Lever Revolution at $1.75. Winchester 150 grain deer season XP at $1.50, uh, which is actually a really, really good bullet. And uh, I would say a good price for those for now. I mean, but still Remington 150 grain or 170 grain Corlock SP at uh, $1.40. And then rounding that out, you're going to have Winchester 150 grain or 170 grain PowerPoint for a dollar forty, um, and you know, I, I I would go ahead and spend a little bit extra money personally for the Hornady one sixty grain FTX lever revolutions, but I really like that bullet. I've tested it; it does well. But these other ones probably might be a little bit better for some people on a budget. Moving on from there is six point five Creedmoor, starting off with Hornady one forty three grain ELDX. Precision Hunter at $2.35. Holy cow. I'm going to have to switch my bullets for 6.5 Creedmoor. But we also had Federal 140 grain Fusion at $2. Hornady 129 grain SSTs at, at $2.15. 129 grain Corlock tips are at 2.25. 
And then Hornady 120 grain interlock American Hunter coming up here with the <laughs> sideways box. We'll we'll change that here in just a second. But the, the American Whitetail there is going to be a dollar fifty per round. I might actually look into those. That's that's a really good price for that bullet in comparison to uh, the others. Yeah, the 125 grain Deer Season XP at a dollar seventy five a round. And then we're going to have the Hornady, or excuse me, the Winchester. 129 grain PowerPoint at a dollar fifty, and Federal 140 grain Power Shock at a dollar fifty as well. So I may really consider changing from the ELDX Precision Hunter to that Interlock American Whitetail. I'm gonna have to do some testing, but we'll look into that coming up later this year. 308 is uh, pretty plentiful on the shelf, starting off with Hornady 168 grain Amax Black at $1.75. Moving on from there, we have the Remington 150 grain FMJ. This is the only FMJ on the shelves at this particular location. Everything else is specialty ammo, but the FMJs were 150 a box. And then you have the Hornady 168 grain Botel Hollow Point Match at $2.15. Moving on from there, you have the 178 grain ELDX Precision Hunter at $2.35, so consistent with 6.5 Creedmoor. Federal 150 grain Fusion at $1.75. And then Hornady 150 grain SST Super Performance at $2.15. And then the 150 grain Corelock Tipped at $2.25. Again, pretty consistent. Moving on from there, you're going to see the Winchester 150 grain Deer Season XP at a dollar seventy-five a round, uh, so that is also going to be pretty consistent between six five Creedmoor and three oh eight. You got the Remington one fifty grain Corlock PSP at a dollar fifty as well. Winchester one fifty grain PowerPoint is going to be a dollar fifty. You're going to have Federal one fifty grain Power Shock at a dollar fifty as well. Moving on from there, it's pretty interesting. They had a couple of um, offerings on clearance, I guess. Starting off with the SIG 150 grain Venari SP at $1.55. If you'll remember, if you watched the last um, video I did, that was a pretty expensive round. So to see that on sale was pretty interesting. And then you have the Remington 180 grain Corlock tip at $2 a round. Um, I'm not sure if that's technically on sale, but I guess it is what it is. <laughs> From there, we're going to move on to Boomerot 6, starting off with Hornady 178 grain ELDX Precision 100 at $2.35. So pretty consistent between that 308 and 65 Creedmoor. You got the Federal 165 grain Fusion at $1.75. And the Hornady 150 grain SST Super Performance at $2.15 per round. Moving on from there, we got another Hornady with the 165 grain CX Super Performance. And that one's a little bit more pricey at $2.50 a round. Actually, that is the most expensive 30-06 cartridge on the shelf. You have the Remington 150 grain Core Locked tipped at $2.25. And then right over there on the right, you have the Hornady 150 grain Interlock American Whitetail at a dollar fifty, so I'm gonna again gonna have to do some testing on that American Whitetail and see if that is uh, the new round for me for deer season. You've got the Winchester 150 grain deer season XP at a dollar seventy five, and then you've got Remington 150 grain, 165 grain, or 180 grain core locked PSP. You've got three different offerings, all at the same price at a dollar fifty a round. So you guys who want to kind of test different bullet weights and trajectories and stuff like that, that's a good option for you. Winchester 150 grain or 180 grain PowerPoint is going to be coming in at $1.50. And then rounding out the 30-06, you're going to see is the Federal 150 grain Power Shock at also a dollar nope. fifty around. So that is the common calendars that I'd like to look at. Uh, prices are looking to be pretty consistent so far. Not really seeing anything changes. Some variability on different types of bullet weights and brands and stuff like that. But realistically, uh, everything seems to be fairly 
the same, but still it's pretty expensive in these big box stores. So if you can support your local shops, if uh, that's not feasible, if it's just still too expensive for you, there you can really capitalize on like Ammo Seek and um, look at uh, some of the offerings that they have that is free shipping. So with all that being said, regardless of what you guys do or where you buy, make sure you guys are staying vigilant, train, be ready, and uh, as always, freedom through strength. We'll catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.